Next thing we're going to talk about is grip. We want the, the pistol to be strong in the hand and a natural extension of the body. So what we're not going to do is just grab the weapon, I heard once like as you're shaking hands. Well that could be an L grip. That could mean making an L with my hand and then placing a weapon in there and if I draw an imaginary line through my sights, it's on a parallel line with my arm. Instead what I want is a V grip. I make a V with my hand and I dig the base of that V up high under the back strap. I'm not even going to try and get a little flap over with the skin just like that. And this is called a V grip. If I draw an imaginary line through the sights, it goes straight into my arm. My thumb is in line with the bore in the sights. So I've got a good V grip, but it's one hand. Two hands is better than one whenever I can. Why? Because I can get more skin on the uncovered panel of the gun here, the grip. So if I can get skin here, skin causes friction, friction reduces recoil. So I'm going to lift this thumb so I can take this hand and turn this thumb downward, turn my wrist down in line with the bore as well, and put the heel of my hand up in that unfilled area, wrap my fingers underneath the trigger guard, and then now I've got both thumbs, both thumbs uh, in line with the bore. I like to try to find a reference index with my support thumb. Normally on most shooters it's the takedown lever of the gun works very well. But if you, if you look in here you're going to not see any air bet underneath this hand. It's filled with skin all the way to the grip. So now I've got a really good strong two-handed grip and my thumbs are still pointers. Hey you, you, and you takes me right to the target with a good two-handed grip.